Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what I'm holding in my hands right here, it's actually hurting my lap. <laughs> it's kind of heavy. What I'm holding in my hands today is something that just showed up at my door today. Um, I have absolutely no clue what it is. All I know is that it is literally from Treyarch and it is titled T4A. And not only that, there's another one sitting on the ground next to me, which is probably twice as big as this one that is titled T4B. Um, we're going to unbox them and see what's going on because I have absolutely no clue what they are going to contain. All right, totally normal, not scuffed setup for unboxing these things. I literally have a table set up in the office with a new camera pointing this way. Uh, lab mics that I'm not even sure they work. Uh, what could go wrong, right? So we got two boxes here, T4A, T4B. I'm assuming A comes first. I've already unlatched these things. Without further ado, let's see what we got. And behind door number one, we have a keyboard. <laughs> So we've got some video converter software, a restricted letter. Hopefully you guys can see this. Obviously this is another cipher like thing that we got to go through. Um, yeah, no clue what that is. We've got some terminal setup instructions. Oh my God. Did they, is that a monitor? I'm going to freak out if that's an actual monitor. We got a cipher square card of some sort. I don't know. That might be just part of the computer. We got a boot disk, we got a software disk, and most importantly, we have the keyboard. That thing is so heavy. What am I looking at? <laughs> Somebody please look up what year this was crafted in. Look at that, dual floppy, that's how you know an OG. What do we, oh my God. Please, somebody, somebody please tell me the year this was made in. It has two floppy disk drive. Oh, I, half of you guys probably don't even know what these are. I'm, I'm upset. Last but not least, we have some video converter cables, I guess, because they want me to not do what I'm doing here and do a very scuffed setup. <laughs> and let's see what's behind box number two. We have soundproofing. <laughs> Yo, Call of Duty, y'all trying to tell me, uh, am I too loud for your ears? Oh my god. Oh, it's a honker. Get it out of the way. Get it out of the way. This is very clearly the monitor, and we're supposed to set this bad boy up. Hello, beautiful. Bro, thank you, Call of Duty. I've been needing a new 4K monitor. Thanks. Yo, this thing has got all the bells and whistles. Oh my, oh, bro. I can't believe it. Top of the, yeah, yeah. Catch me on the beta, dude. Y'all are gonna be catching these hands on gaming on this thing. Look at that thing. Okay, so based off the picture, I think we have to set it up a little something like this. All right, first up, let's get the power going. All right, so step one, we gotta plug in everything. Let's get that going. All right, a one. And a two, we have power. All right, so next up we need to plug the keyboard into the CPU and then turn on the monitor for the first time. I'm gonna be honest, this is actually easier than installing USBs. Can we, can we go back to these? Okay, that's not good. Oh God, that sounded like it. Okay, that sounded dangerous. Okay, so they both say operating system. So I guess we can just insert Whichever one we want. Step seven, turn on the computer and once booted, you will see an A prompt. Oh, oh, we got to zoom into that. BIOS ROM version 1.2. They literally, this is like, the, oh, copyright 1984, 1985, 1986, Phoenix Software's Associated, LTD Tandy Corporation, all rights reserved. All right, BIOS ROM version 1.2, compatibility software, copyright 1984. Phoenix software, all rights reserved, A. Oh, oh, I know this guy. Okay, remove the boot disk from drive A. Insert the disk you wanna run into drive A. Okay, so we take this one out and we put this one in. Software application, terminal four. Step eight, type software program name provided on disk and press enter to run that program. Okay, so I guess it's launch command terminal four. Wait, caps lock, term. Four. Ah! Access code. Oh no. 
Oh, it's time to Easter egg, ladies and gentlemen. So referring back to our original uh, control terminal number thing here, it says terminal login introductory command, use the start guide to ensure proper setup. And then it says to determine your computer's passcode, use the provided polybus cipher in combination with the key phrase and coordinates below. Propaganda 12, 13, 35, 35, 23, 14, 24, 34. Okay. Okay, so I did a quick Google search of the Polybus Cypher. It's actually a extremely, extremely simple cipher to do. So basically our keyword is propaganda. Now you're gonna fill propaganda into this box, but you're gonna go ahead and remove any repeated letters. So propaganda ends up looking like this. Pro Proagnd. So we're gonna write that in there. P-R-O-A-G-N-D. So these are our letters that we have right here. That's propaganda written in, written in. They're just completely eliminating any duplicate letters from it. So if you go through the rest of the alphabet and do the same thing, you would start obviously the alphabet with A, but we already used an A. So we're starting with B. We're going C, we've already used a D. So there's a D right there. So basically using that, you just fill in the rest of the box. And if I did this correctly, H and then I and J always share the same box because very easy to tell whether something's supposed to be a J or an I. Uh, and then K, L, M, Q, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, and Z. Okay, so it looks like I did do this correctly. We have every single square filled in. Now, basically what you do is you run through each one of the numbers and you literally just go on the grid and find the number. And it always goes this one first, then this one. So. 12, 1, 2, that is R. We have 1, 3, 1, 3, that is O. 3, 5, 3, 5, uh, that is an L. And then it's twice, so R O L L. Uh, 2, 3 is a B. 1, 4 is an A. Uh, 2, 4 is a C. And then 3, 4 is a K. So, roll back. So, if that is correct, let's zoom into the screen a little bit more here. If that is correct, rollback will do something here. R O L L B A C K. Enter. It's making noises. Oh! Look at that. Four, four. I think that's right. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing. So back on the sheet, it says, determine your computer's passcode. Once you have logged in, refer to this documentation for a breakdown of your UDIN's usable commands. As you acquire commands for your terminal, each one will return to Intel when entered into the program. Return to Intel may require supporting resources to properly interpret and utilize. Immediately disseminate evidence of retrieved Intel with your operatives. Combine arms team dash LW83 classified by blank exempt from general declassification. That looks out of place, so I'm gonna try that. Combined arms team dash LW83. Ah! PTP slash waves of attack. Combined arms team LW83. The P oh my god, it's shocking me. I forgot. <laughs> it shocked me, man. The pieces are in play. Okay, so it basically returned that code with the pieces are in play. Hey guys, sub to the channel. Okay, all right, well, cut the bod. Okay, so that looks like it is correct. And I believe, I mean, that, that's the end of the papers that I got. Uh, nothing else seems to be of uh, use here for learning anything. Um, and I think that is it for today. Now they told me tomorrow on the 23rd, um, at 9 a.m. Pacific time, so basically the same time as the last, like, uh, Pond Takes Pond website stuff was coming out, um, that is going to be the launch date for whatever is next. And I think it's going to be you guys getting codes and then I put them into the computer. I know there's a few other people and apparently you have to work together. I honestly have no clue what's going on. I just, sh I just show up and there's boxes of 1982 computers sitting at my doorstep, so... I'm just gonna show up tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna be on stream, and we're gonna see we're gonna see what's gonna be happening. Cause I'm gonna be honest, I have no clue. So, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Uh, I'll see you guys all tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time on Wednesday, 9:23, to uh, see what the next step of this is. Zombies teaching us about technology from the 80s. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but I'll see you guys all here on stream tomorrow to find out.